Hey everybody, Dakota here from the Ed Boys. And the topic of today's video is going to be the top profitable skills in old school RuneScape. Other than prayer and construction, you can really profit from any skill while you're gaining XP, but some of them are pretty slow methods for trying to get a skill cape, and there are a few that you can really profit well from. I'll bring those ones up in this video. The first skill we'll talk about is smithing. This section might as well be labeled Blast Furnace, because if you're going for 99 smithing, there's a really good chance that you're going to do it at this minigame. Though, of course, there are other methods to do it. Gold Bars of the Blast Furnace is the fastest XP in the game for smithing, but it's going to cost you a lot of money, and this is a video about profit. You can make Steel, Myth, Addy, and Rune Bars of the Blast Furnace, and it only requires half of the coal you would normally need, which makes it a pretty solid profit, starting at around 500k an hour, if you have a coal bag, of course. If you just did steel bars from 30 to 99 smithing, you would currently profit about 111 mil, but if you switched up to rune bars when you hit 85, you would make even more than that. A lot of the times, uh, of course it depends on prices, the mithril bars are also better than steel bars. So overall, you could make like 150 mil getting 99 smithing pretty easily. A lot of players choose to use gold bars to speed up their 99 smithing, but there are some solid options out there for good cash if you need the money. And if you need a more in-depth guide on the Blast Furnace, I have left a link to one in the description. The next skill on the list is Hunter. There are a few different ways you can profit well from Hunter, but the reason that it lands on this list is really catching chinchampas. At 63 Hunter, you can start catching red chins. They're super slow at 63, so you could even wait till 70 if you don't want to get a little bit frustrated at the very early levels. But if you did do this from 63 to 99 Hunter, you'd make about 85 mil. Or you could switch to black chins at 73 Hunter, which are a little bit more dangerous since they're in the wilderness. But if you did 73 to 99 at black chins, you could top out at around 115 mil. Even if you get PK'd for like, let's say 10% of your chins, which would be a pretty shitty pace, I'm not gonna lie, you'd still make over 100 mil getting this, sk this skill cape, excuse me, and I don't know, that sounds alright to me. Next, let's talk about rune crafting. Since there's constantly a need for runes in the game, rune crafting is pretty reliable in terms of making money, and even though this cape is a slow one, you can really make bank while you do it. As low as 44 rune crafting, you can make nature runes, which are a pretty good profit for low requirements, but once you hit 91 rune crafting, you start to make two runes per essence, and it turns out to be one of the best skilling money makers in the game. If you only did abyss runs for nature runes from 44 to 99 rune crafting, you would currently make about 400 mil off of nature runes. It would take a while, but you'd walk away with 400 mil. There are some other methods that make good money for rune crafting though, like double astral runes at 82 rune crafting, which still makes over a mil an hour and does give a lot better XP than nature runes. You could also do blood runes at 77 rune crafting, which are pretty AFK, and you can make over 100 mil still getting to 99, which is not nearly the same as nature runes, but it really didn't take any effort, and you still get some good XP. Not to mention at 85, you can get double law runes, which are better money than double nats, and at 99, you can do double death runes, excuse me, which if you've already gotten the skill cape, you probably don't want to do any more runecrafting, but it is still a good way to make some money while runecrafting, so I figure it's part of the profitable skill. The last skill we're going to really dive into is Slayer. The profit that you can make from Slayer really can vary a lot. It depends on which tasks you do, possibly how lucky you get, little things like that, but even if you have just trash RNG, tasks like Gargoyles, Wyverns, Necrils, and even Blue Dragons are going to guarantee that when you get this cape, you've made some solid cash. If you make sure to push some high level PVM in there, like doing your Slayer bosses when you get the chance, heading to DKs on a Dagonoth task, fighting gorillas for Black Demon tasks, even fighting the Calphite Queen for your Calphite tasks, you can start to make a lot of extra money and push your profit even further. I kept all of my Slayer drops from 9 to 99 Slayer and sold the tab at the end for about 520 mil, turned out to be around 450 mil profit. If you would like to see any of my 9 to 99 Slayer profits, I have left a link in the description to a playlist with all of those videos. Overall, as long as you're not using a blow pipe and a cannon on every single task to speed things up and, and skipping like all possible boss tasks and good money makers, you're gonna find yourself profiting very well from Slayer. Those are really the top skills I wanted to bring up in this video. There are other skills out there that make pretty good money, like if you did angler fish uh, at fishing from 82 to 99, or even minnows from 82 to 99, you can make over 100 mil with that too. Uh, one wild card I want to throw in there though is mining, I guess. At 85 mining, you unlock the ability to mine rune ore, and if you only did rune ore all the way to 99 from 85, which makes over 600k an hour if you have superior mining gloves and Varok armor 4, you would mine just over 78,000 ore, which currently would sell for around 890 mil. It's super slow XP, so I would really not suggest you do it, probably not worth your time, but this is a video about profitable skills, technically you can make almost a bill getting this cape, right? That's going to wrap up this video, guys. I hope you all got some good information out of the video. Uh, my last tip for money making, I guess, would be 
if you really want to make a lot of money, it's probably best to find a pretty good money maker, maybe not necessarily the best, but one that you really enjoy. Maybe if you happen to enjoy the best money maker, that's good. But at least you'll be willing to put the hours in necessary to make some cash, and you'll walk away with a pretty good cash stack. Thanks for watching, everybody, and best of luck with future gains.